Hi beautiful people, good morning. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay. Well, as for me, I'm not doing okay at all. And I'm not even gonna pretend about it. When I say I'm tired of being pregnant, I am tired. I'm past my due date, I'm over 40 weeks pregnant and this baby has refused to come out. Yes, baby is just sitting pretty and just enjoying, enjoying, enjoying life. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of constantly being out of breath. I'm tired of like having to to it's 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 crazy. Like I can't even bend down to pick stuff anymore. It takes me like five ten minutes to pick up something that has fallen because I have to like slouch like someone who's uh, I don't even know how to explain it. But you know, if you've been pregnant and really really heavy at this point, you understand what I mean. I'm tired of feeling drained all the time. I'm just tired of a whole lot of negative stuff. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I just want this baby out like ASAP. But anyway, enough of me ranting. Um, so today, uh, it's going to be quite a busy day for me. Um, normally, my days are not usually like this. It's pretty chilled. Uh, most of my days are pretty chilled, but today's going to be pretty busy. So I thought I, um, I thought I'd share my journey, you know, with you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to the birthing center where I'm gonna be having this baby to carry out an NST. NST is called a non-stress test. So now that I'm overdue, or rather now that the baby is full term, they have to carry out an NST to determine the baby's heart rate and to just monitor like his vitals and all. So um, normally prior to now, a couple of weeks ago, the baby kicks, you know, a lot, but now he's kicking as really reduced so they need to monitor the baby to be sure everything is okay not just with baby with also the mother mama as well me one <laughs> so yeah that's it so afterwards i'm gonna go to to see my doctor because my doctor wants to carry out a cervix check on me to be sure that everything is going fine down there you know so i might obviously get induced if natural birth doesn't the natural labor doesn't um, um occur and i have literally tried everything natural well no, i won't really say everything maybe like 70 percent of natural stuff and i am done my doctor keeps laughing at me he's like uh <laughs> he's like if you like walk from here to kilimanjaro if you like drink a lot of um raspberry tea if you like eat this eat that if the baby is not ready to come baby is not gonna come <laughs> and I'm like oh my god why me because <laughs> I was actually expecting to have delivered this baby long before now but anyway <sighs> look on the bright side the more it's cooking in there the more the more everything God's by God's grace is gonna be like health wise and all anyway for now um, I'm a bit hungry so I'll just go grab some cereal and then head out the door so yeah so come with me guys I know I'm smiling but trust me deep down I'm not just happy I'm just I'm just tired of of being swollen because every 15 20 minutes I just swell up like a balloon my feet my ankles my my um, hands and I've been told to reduce salt intake but it's not even the salt because I even hardly eat food with salt let me even think about it you know with a lot of salt but hey it is what it is so yeah let's go guys so I'm gonna call my conversation buddy my mother-in-law so she can keep me company on the drive down to the hospital She's not picking her phone. Hello. Hey, mom. <coughs> Hi. Okay. Are you busy? Uh, I was just in the washroom. Oh, you're in the washroom? Yeah, I knew it was you, so I ran <laughs> down. Oh, you ran down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to call me back when you're done? Because I'm just on my way out now. 
Oh, well, um, okay. Yeah, just call me back when you're done so you can keep me company while I just um, drive down, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank we'll you. Do. Okay, Mama. Okay, okay bye. You. Bye. Bye. I like having a conversation with her because she's so funny. <laughs> she's so, so funny. Anyway, guys, let me just keep driving down and I'll wait for a call. I will talk to you guys when I get to the hospital. Okay, so I have this um, mesh garment around my stomach. And this is actually needed in order to hold the monitors in place so now we have two monitors here and here so you can you know the machine can feel the baby move and monitor its chat so this is the chat so far and it's just given the readings so anytime I feel the baby move I have to like click on this blue button here yeah so that's it so I just finished um, the test now and everything looks okay uh, I'm headed now to see my doctor for the cervix check and all and then if everything goes well I might probably start labor soon if not uh, I'll have to be induced but that's to be determined by by my doctor but I was just told now that I passed my NST, all the requires, um, re um, requirements have been met. So that's pretty much okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I get to the house, to the clinic, which is about um, 15 minutes from the hospital here. So that's it. So um, I'm taking the stairs because I just feel it's much safer than, than the elevator and also it's exercise for me <laughs> so yeah uh, who's calling me now Ooh. so i'm already at my doctor's office i'll just show you face mask is required Okay, so I'm done now. Um, I, I actually got a few stuff and um, I'm pretty hungry. So there's a food court right around the corner that I'm gonna go to to get stuff. So uh, I just have to find a place. But yeah, that's just it. Just grab something to eat and then head on home. got home and I just slept off because I was so exhausted I was super super exhausted I woke up um, I think I slept for a couple of hours then I woke up and decided to uh, go for my evening walks because I normally I normally walk every evening you know because the weather is better now and Funny enough, it's a bit chilly tonight, so I'm just putting on like sweater, you know. But regardless, um, I just like walking. It just helps me with my thoughts, and it just helps me like feel better, taking in the fresh air and all that. So normally, I walk for maybe 30, 30 minutes, between 30 minutes to one hour depending on my physical state of mind 
you know but obviously more than 30 minutes but most times um, on an average probably 45 minutes and if I really want to push myself especially at this stage like one hour so that's what I do I just make sure I walk every evening um, yeah so that's how I spend my day thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey <laughs> hopefully my next video will be the video of the of the baby's birth and um, yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed watching if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so just click the subscribe button underneath and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!